Okay, let's start with object-oriented programming language that is C++. To switch from C to C++, we need to know some of the basic differences and similarities between C and C++. Most of the things are similar, but small differences make a huge impact and thus we need to study C++ to understand the object-oriented approach to the programming language. So let's get started. So let's see the basic structure of these programming languages. In C we include stdio.h header file in order to make use of printf and scanf functions. Execution starts from main both in C and C++. So we use printf to output some value to the output window. Let's see how this simple thing can be done in C++. So here we use iostream.h header file and instead of printf we make use of cout object. So see the difference here. printf is a function, cout is an object. The two less than symbol here are called insertion operator. It is an insertion operator function. Just don't worry about it. In the next slide I'll explain about it. So let's see. Uh, now let's see the difference between the structure and class here. In C we used to have structures. Inside structure we had some variables like this and so here we have created a variable of student type s1 to access the variable values inside this variables we need to use s1 dot name and s1 dot age similarly in c++ we have classes concept the syntax is very easy class followed by class name and opening and closing brace closing brace after that we need to have a semicolon there inside that we have both data type as well as function data and function so now we need to access these values and how to invoke these functions using object of this class so we create an object of class student class name and object name that's it now to access age we need to use s1.age and to invoke display method we need to use s1.display now let's see in detail about what is this object cout cout is an object of ostream class Ostream and iStream both classes are present inside iostream.h so we include that header file in our C++ program. This insertion operator is a function of Ostream. So there is an object called cout of class Ostream. So in order to invoke insertion operator we need to make use of the object cout so cout dot operator insertion function and the arguments this is the syntax we can even write it uh, the simple way that is cout insertion operator followed by the argument now the scene scene is used to accept value from the keyboard scene is an object of class iStream iStream is again present inside iostream.h header file inside that iStream we have a function operator function called extraction extraction operator function so there is an object called scene of iStream class 
so to invoke extraction operator we need to make of this object make use of this object say in dot operator extraction and then accept the value here we have a variable we have a variable called a we ask the user to input a value for a using c in and in extraction operator we get the value of a in a compact representation we can even write it as seen followed by extraction operator and the variable name now uh, we can write this object name once and call this extraction operator as many times as we require similarly in case of scene write scene once and call extraction operator as many times as we want let's see here so this is again extract insertion app operator followed by argument allowed in insertion operator and c++ this works fine so similarly we can use it use extraction operator for scene write scene object once and accept as many values as you want this is completely possible and valid valid syntax now let's see a simple example and before that know that there is no formatting strings present in C++ we need to directly get the values using its name that is variable names now a simple example <laughs> here we have a class called a inside main we create an object called of class a using that a dot a member function that is show we invoke here class object name dot method name that will print welcome to c++ this is a simple program let's see how to get input from the keyboard here is it everything is same I have just added another function inside the class a that is void read and we have taken three variables inside class a that is int a b c void read accepts three values from the keyboard a b and c void show outputs welcome to C++ we could have output the values of ABC uh, let's do it live so for this example just just to know how it works just look at it inside main we have created an object of class A we ask user to enter three numbers using C out object now a dot read user enters three val values using a dot show we output the string to the output window let's see a live example I'll type this out on the editor and let's see the output live that would make some some of these concepts clear so let's open the editor now 